Welcome back everyone. It's Saturday night. Um, it is 25 past 7, but you know what I like to do on the weekends and the evenings. DIY of course, and my wife has had another bright idea. She's decided that she wants a, a bit of a tiled splash back put in the kitchen. So we're making quite a bit of progress, but it's just at the back here, along the side there, and on the other side as well behind the sink. Uh, which is going to look really nice actually. We've got some tiles. I'll find them. We go so we've got some tiles to put up they're a nice blue so they'll match nicely with the, the curtains Karen made um, now to attach these and um, what basically what I'm going to do is is mask and tape off the wood here so I'm not getting any tile adhesive on there because it'll be quite hard to get off even though they're varnished but I'm just using the rest of the tile uh, adhesive that we used for the fireplace um, now we're not some people have suggested maybe using something a bit more flexible with the vibration of the boat um, some people use Sikaflex, that kind of thing, but I've got this stuff, I'm going to use it. Um, if a tile comes off, I'll, I'll sort it at that point. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today, uh, well tonight even. So I thought I'd take you along for the ride, show you what I'm uh, what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to set the camera up, um, a few different angles so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I've also got my multi-tool, this thing, obviously a narrow boat, I seem to swear by these. And I've got myself a diamond tipped cutting tool and that's really just for cutting the tiles around kind of the the electricity sockets and that kind of thing to make it look as clean as I can I am not a tiler this is just how I am doing it so but feel free you know leave your comments um, so I'll set the camera up and we'll get started okay hopefully we'll finish it tonight
So here you can just see me fitting um, half a tile, just so they, they marry up and look right, if you like. Um, and I'm using tile spacers here. Yeah, I'm using three millimeter tile spacers, just so the the gaps are all equal. Um, again, you just get these in bags at your local hardware store. You get different sizes. We decided three mil would be the the best, just so the grout looks nice and even. And then it's back to putting in the full tiles. And now you can see I'm fitting the the trim, which is kind of like a top cap that goes on uh, the top of the tiles, just to make it look nice and clean. Again, you're getting this in lengths. Why don't you get two lengths of this? Um, I think it was about four pound a length from B and Q. Uh, the tiles themselves were from B and Q as well. Um, I think they were twelve pound a box, and we've got two boxes, or you could buy them for a pound each. Uh, so I think it cost about £30 in tiles in total because uh, we've got uh, most of a box left. The spacers were about £3 a bag. The, the, the grout itself was about £5. So um, not the most expensive job. We probably did the tiling for about £40-£50 all in. I already had a tile cutter but you pick them up for about £20 per se. And you can see here I've um, cut the tile to go around the back of the electricity socket um, using that diamond tipped bit with the oscillating multi-tool. Pretty clean cut actually, first time I've used one of them. The electricity is off before anyone asks, uh, to the sockets anyway. And then just continuing with the rest. As you can tell, once you get going, it's it's actually quick, quite quick progress. It's it's making the cuts, the small cuts around the electricity sockets and that kind of thing that takes the time. As you saw, using the tile cutter, quite simple. And that was just a cheap tile cutter from Screwfix, you know, but for these kind of ceramic tiles, nice and simple. And there's the last one going in. Slightly tighter fit on this one, but to try and trim the end off that would have been bit of a nightmare so it's going to be behind the microwave so we've decided to live with that. Well we had a knock last night on the head it got to about 20 past nine and I was I was cutting tiles outside and Karen says we neighbours are not going to like us for this. That multi-tool it's, it's great but it's really loud so we knocked it on the head. I started off again this morning so we've managed to get the tiling done um, and I'm now going to start the grouting. So I'm, I'll set the camera up um, and um, well, we'll get the grouting done, see how that goes. See you in a minute. So I'm using um, B&Q's, I think it's B&Q's own make I believe, just pre-mixed grout, white as you can see. And I've got that little tool there that I was using to put the tile adhesive on. It's got the little squeegee on the back so you can use it for putting the grout in. The idea with this is you've got to push as much grout as you can into the gaps to really fill them up. So it's a little bit time consuming but, but, it, but it's worth it. Use a squeegee to, to, to apply it, but also take as much of the excess off as you can. And then what I do is just use a, a, a damp sponge, not wet, just damp, just to wipe the excess off and, um, and, and make it look a bit cleaner. You've got to come back once it's dried and uh, polish the old grout off, but it's important to take the excess off because otherwise it's quite hard to take off. You can see doing behind the tap here was a bit of a nightmare to be honest. It looks like I'm trying to ice a cake or something. It looks like a toddler icing a cake actually. <laughs> Not a grown man. But I was getting the grout everywhere. You just couldn't get the tool in, you know. Um, so I had to tidy this a bit up quite a bit with the sponge luckily and take it all off. Dries quite quick on the, uh, on the taps so I had to uh, do a bit of work to get it off the taps. But uh, it ended up looking really quite smart at the end.
it's important when you're wiping the tiles as well to, to rinse the sponge um, a lot uh, just to take any excess off and just very lightly rub the sponge across it so you're not taking any of the grout out you're just taking the excess off and leaving a really quite a nice smooth joint um, so that's the key with that really and as I say a damp sponge not a wet sponge because that'll spoil the integrity of the grout apparently so weaken it Well, there we go everyone, the grouting is done. It's looking quite, uh, quite smart and neat if I do say so myself. The other side's a bit of a bomb site because we've, we've moved everything onto the other side. You can see I used the uh, multi-tool to cut out for the um, sockets. There's one behind the microwave as well. Um, and it's looking quite nice, didn't take too long actually. Just used a bit of a sponge and some damp water um, just to take off the excess, as you probably saw. Damp water. Damp water, yeah. <laughs> no, what I mean, damp water. A damp sponge, even. <laughs> just to, I'll just turn this light off. Um, just to take the excess off. Um, that that's the way I was taught by my dad to do it. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's it's correct, but it probably is because my dad taught us how to do it. So and he's always right. So there we go. So that's done. Uh, so I'll just let that dry off now and then we can start getting the kitchen back to some kind of order so thanks for coming along for the journey with us um, and I just want to say as well thanks to all the new subscribers um, over a over a thousand now which is just mind-boggling I mean it really is you know so uh, thank you so much to everyone who's who subscribed and clicked the like button and commented. I love answering your questions, I really do. So feel free to comment, I really do. If you haven't already, you know who you are, please do like and please like and, and subscribe. Uh, it's completely free, it doesn't cost you a penny. It just means you get to know when I, I put a new video up. But it makes a huge difference to YouTube and to the channel, it really does the way YouTube works. So if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, okay? Take care, everyone. Bye-bye now.